This is Emily from Crossy Mason Dixon, and this is my first ever coffee date vlog. So, there are a bunch of cool women that I really admire that are bloggers and are also vloggers, which is video blogging, that do weekly coffee dates, which is an update of what happened to them each week. So, I decided that I was going to start doing this, and of course, I haven't until recent. And this week was a pretty eventful one, so. It inspired me to make my first coffee date video. And I am actually drinking coffee. So this is no joke. This is actually maybe the fifth time I've started to make this video because I keep getting interrupted. My mom keeps asking me to take my laundry out, etc. Because I still live at home. Yeah, that's fun. So anyway, this week uh, started on Sunday, I suppose. It was February 9th. This is the week of Valentine's Day. Uh, I can't remember what started out the week, but the middle of the week, from Wednesday going into Thursday, the East Coast got slammed with a chunk of snow. My hometown got 17 inches, and um, I spent the snowstorm in a hotel room for a 48 hour uh, shift of work. I worked for 48 hours straight. Okay, I slept and I watched the Olympics quite a bit, but I was in a hotel room for an extended period of time. My first ever 48 hour shift. My coffee is getting cold. How do people do this and actually drink their coffee? Yeah, it's pretty cold. So anyhow, um, it was quite exciting though. Uh, I won't complain one bit, even though I worked for 48 hours. I was in the hotel with my boss, who was also one of my best friends, and she got to bring her two dogs. One is a puppy, they're both Dobermans, and it was a blast. We had a blast. And the reason we do that is for part of my job, we handle companion animal sheltering during emergencies. It's fascinating. It's a really interesting topic that I can go more into detail about. Um, I'm actually making videos about that for, for work, to recruit some volunteers so that I might not have to be in a hotel room for 48 hours every time it snows a lot, which would be lovely. So after um, our fun hotel work day, 48 hour, 48 hour shift, uh, it was Valentine's Day on Friday, and I got to be off work since I had worked previously for the disaster response. And I got this for Valentine's Day with Tom, my soon-to-be husband. I got him this lovely fish. Isn't that cute? It says, I'm not throwing you back. I thought it was adorable. I got it at Food Lion, but I forgot to give it to him because we were actually at his house instead of down here for Valentine's Day. And we went out to dinner. We had to, he got me a lovely box of Reese's cups, of which I have eaten quite a few, more than a few, like all of them just about. And there was like a lot in the box. And then we went to a marriage seminar for two days. We had a Christian marriage seminar at his family's church. It uh, was hosted, it was actually a Simon Cat, Samuel, Samuel Cast. Simul cast? Is that how you say it? I should know how to say that because I'm all about video conferencing. Simul cat. Simul. Anyhow, it was um, Jimmy and Karen Evans' uh, marriage seminar called Becoming One. And it was uh, very inspirational. That was our week in a nutshell. Oh, and because I was in a hotel and because I had some free time, I finished my uh, Christmas present from my mom, which is this book by Jill Salton. Folks, this ain't normal. If you haven't read this, you should probably read it. I had asked for Christmas for any book by Jill Salton, and I meant to put the disclaimer, except this book. Folks, this ain't normal. Because I didn't want to read this one because I didn't think I would agree with it. Um, Jill Salton, if you don't know, is a grass farmer. That's his most common, I guess, term. Is a grass farmer from Virginia who raises poultry and rabbits and beef and hogs in the Shindo Valley. And he's a brilliant man, 
brilliant writer. This is a really good read. I mean, he, he's just genius the way he writes. Um, but he's also very much against conventional farming, which is not something that I agree with. And there are some points in his book, this one in particular, that I didn't agree with. That he goes a little bit um, way out in left field and makes some accusations about some conventional farming practices that aren't necessarily true or justified. Um, don't take it 100% to heart because there's some stuff in here that is a little far-fetched. Um, he goes off quite a bit about the government, which is hard to take as a government employee, um, but he has some good points overall. So um, I'm glad I read it. I'm going to read probably all of his other books as well. And um, so yeah. Yay! First coffee date. Bye.